Welcome to the Haiku Cyber Range. I'm Charles Gamboa, Cybersecurity Engineer at the Haiku. In this three-part video tutorial, I'll introduce you to the Metasploit framework found in the Kali machine of the Haiku Cyber Range. Now, some of you may know, Metasploit is a powerful tool when it comes to cyber penetration testing, and in fact, it has been the main tool for many cyber pen testing professionals for years. What I personally like about Metasploit is that it holds a database of hosts, vulnerabilities, and exploits that are found during the life cycle of your cyber penetration test. For those of you that might be engaging in offensive scenarios, you will find this to be really helpful because there could be tons of information gathered during your cyber pen test, and it can all be kept in a database for you. To start Metasploit, be sure you are logged in the Kali machine of Haiku. You can either open up a terminal and type NMSF console, or click on the Metasploit framework application. We'll go ahead and click on the Metasploit framework application and let it run. Once Metasploit Framework has begun loading, uh, you can click the uh, the command line interface here and type in a question mark and press enter. This will immediately give you a handful of commands you can run. To ensure you are connected to a database, type the command db underscore status. If it shows a database connected to MSF, you're connected to a database. Now having a database is important because it will help you keep track of hosts and vulnerabilities that you've scanned. By default, Metasploit automatically connects the database upon launching the Metasploit application. If you've already ran a DBMAP scan in your environment, you will be able to utilize most of the commands. Otherwise, it's best to start with a DBMAP scan. To start a DBMAP scan, simply type DBMAP then the range of your environment. Our environment is 10.98.10.240 to 245, so let me go ahead and put that in here. Two forty to two forty five. After entering your range, go ahead and kick off the scan and wait till it completes. I'll go ahead and pause the video here until it stops or un until it completes. Now once the scan completes, you can now utilize the host, loop, services, and bones command if the scan found anything. Typing host will identify the hosts that are currently on, host name, OS, and other useful information. Since our MMAP scan was a simple scan, it didn't quite get much information to populate the extra fields in the host commands, but you can see that we have the IP address and some kind of a, a name of the device. We can also utilize the services command. So if we type in services, it will list a number of services that are running and the ports that are open for each of the machines in your environment. Here, we can see if there are any vulnerable ports like HTTP and Telnet that are open for exploit. Using the vulns command is where you can find a list of open vulnerabilities found in hosts within your environment. When we run the vulns command, we see that the host 1098.10.241 has the eternal blue vulnerability. Now that we know that information, we can use it later on to run attacks on that host. We'll be showcasing that in a later Metasploit video, as this is a basic and the first part of a three-part video tutorial to Metasploit. Well, that's all for this video tutorial. Stay tuned for parts 2 and 3 of our Metasploit videos. To read the latest about Haiku Cyber Range or see features, tips, and tricks, visit us at haikurange.com.